experiment title window comparator today's session we will discuss how to simulate window comparator using vSpice click on the start button all programs vSpice student then click on cap student so our window is going to open now click on file new project then give the file name check whether analog and mixed mode is taken path is correct so give the file project name as a given ad experiment 3 window comparator you can give your own name click on ok so choose create a blank project say ok so window is created where you can draw the circuit start drawing place part Eval mode is taken to take the IC near 741 active component. Place it. I need to go for two op amps. Place two op amps, then end mode. Next one, place part. What else you want? Check the DC source to be given. Source, then VDC. Uh, connect this. Place it at pin number 7 then pin number 4 for both of amps. Later you can change the direction. Then right click end mode. So 4 VDC we have taken. 2 VCC to pin number 7 and 2 VCC to pin number 4. So place VCC to be given to pin 7 of both of amps. Then minus VCC to be given for pin 4 of both of amps. And I need to go for reference voltage, two def reference voltage, one for op amp 1 and one for op amp 2 so take on those also, source also now you can set the values for each of these DC sources so 12 volts I am setting at pin 7 plus 12 volt at pin 4 minus 12 volt same way so first I am giving the value later we can give minus VCC or plus VCC based on the circuit So see to that, reference voltage to be given, I taken 3 volts at up amp 1, then up amp 2 also 3 volts. DC reference voltage is set now, next one, place part, I will go for a val, to check for which one, diode 1N4002. Now place it at near the output of both the op amps. Right click end mode. Next play component. Place part. So go for another passive component where you can choose resistance and capacitor. I am taking resistance. Placing near the output. So load resistance is done. So value is 1k itself. So rotate it based on the direction to be connected next one next what are the next components left out VAC source to be given correct check that check your circuit diagram what are the components left out You need to connect one AC input. You need to connect a signal generator for that. So, what are the connections left out here? I am connecting this source. Pin number 7, I am connecting positive terminal of the battery. So, this side also you can finish it off. Pin number 4, I have, four, I have to give negative terminal of the battery minus VCC. Same way we have to complete for op amp 2 also. Pin number 7 plus VCC. Same way pin number 4 minus VCC. Rotate it. Then you can connect minus VCC to pin number 4. So we plus VCC and minus VCC is done. Diodes you see. 
anode of the diode should go to pin 6 of both the amps. Next we need to take AC source, right? Or if, let us finish the wiring connection. Pin 6 of op amp 2 is properly connected but check it whether it is given properly. Now connect the cathodes of both the diode then give it to first end of load resistance. If there is any extra wire taken just select and delete it. Connect the resistance to cathodes of both the diode connected point. So one end of R1 is connected. Later we can ground the other end of R1. Fine. See here, diode anode should go to pin 6. Correct it. Done. So, both the up amp pin number 6 is going to anode of the diodes. Up amp 1 is going to D1 and up amp 2 is going to D2. Now, Place wire, complete the connection now. CP number 2 of op amp 1 should go to P number 3 of op amp 2. Done. Next, connect the positive terminal of the battery V6 to P number 2 of op amp 2. Same way. I need to connect positive terminal of, I mean uh, inverting, non-inverting terminal of a pump 1 to be given to source V5, check the direction to be given. Drag the wire so that you can connect the circuit properly. Rotate the supply. This is supply because negative terminal. I mean, like minus 3 volts is to be applied to op amp 1. Correct? Connect it to pin number 3. So, we see both DC supply is done now. You can arrange the circuit, drag the wires and Connect it properly so that circuit looks good. If any extra wire is there, you can just delete that. Complete it. So, finish connecting both the DC source reference voltage for both of them 1 and 2. Fine. What is left out? Check the circuit where this non inverting of op amp 2 and non inverting op amp 2 should go to AC source. Correct? Select AC source, search for V sine wave, place it now. You have to set the values V off should go, go to zero potential. Set the value of for V of a zero volts. V amplitude you can give. It's a maximum voltage you want to give for V amplitude sine wave that can be set here. Set 10 ohms. Apply it. Say OK. Frequency you can set. You can type the value. Say 50 ohms. Fixed frequency I'm applying. Say OK. So AC source value is set now. Now I'm going to connect this AC source. To the op amps inverting and non inverting terminal shorted. Now, other end of the source should go to ground. Now, we are supposed to connect the ground for all these supplies, power supplies, and then uh, the other end of R1 also to, to be connected to ground. 
how many grounding connections are to be done now one for AC source and uh, we have four DC source and uh, what else we have see the DC source once again and place it select VDC say ok place it right click in mode you have to set the values three volts now we can connect the ground check the circuit now place it place the ground place ground choose source here and then zero potential apply it connect connect it to toggle the source how many grounds one two three four five source then six four dc sources and one ac source correct now i need to connect r1 other end also to ground done right click and move now connect these grounds properly so see it AC source then DC source all DC source you check if necessary you have to rotate see these grounds rotate it then you can connect it so pin number 7 of a pan 2 is done and again pin number 7 of a pan 1 is left out rotate and then connect it properly to negative terminal of the battery fine so all the grounding connection is done next we can play we can trace the circuit then place the probe to check for output waveform and the input waveform you can just trace the circuit with it VCC connections are given properly now voltage probe is connected to R1 between R1 and ground and between the AC input waveform Please create new simulation profile give the file name here you can give your own project name whatever you have already created same file name can be used here I have given WC stands for window comparator or ADE experiment 2 experiment 3 window comparator you can give this file name only one run time and step size maximum step size are to be given according to the design mentioned in the manual apply it and then millisecond run time and for the second for step size then now e spice then run the file simulation file is run now now you can see the output and input waveforms here waveform which is shown in the red color is the sine wave input waveform the waveform which is shown in the green color is the output waveform see the waveform here you can check the waveform on time and off time so waveform is obtained for the design values thank you